Hello, thank you for your interest in our financial coaching orientation. My name is Maya. I am one of the financial wellness program coordinators here with the financial wellness team at the Spotsky Center. Um, we held this presentation over Zoom about uh, two weeks ago, but we thought many more of you might be interested in our financial coaching program. Um, first, I just want to say a little bit about the Prosper Center. So the financial wellness team is um, part of the Prosper Center. We have two Prosper Centers, one up north by Highland ACC and one down south by I-35 and Old Um And our mission is to build pathways to financial wellness, higher education, and health coverage so that those who face barriers have opportunities to prosper. So we have many different programs within the Prosper Center, including our free tax Operation services during tax season and year round. Um, our college hub program, which supports families in navigating the college admission process um, and financial aid, and, and many more things like that. And then our health coverage program, which um, assists folks in applying for affordable health care and navigating access and care, etc. And then financial wellness team, which is focused on financial education and stability. Um, we have workshops and classes as well as uh, services for our residents like rent and utility assistance um, and rent reporting and our financial coaching program, which is what um, we are here to talk about today. So our financial coaching program um, started actually in 2008. It was started by Erica Leo, um, the program manager of the financial wellness team. And it originally started um, as just a service that was offered after hours at the tax center. Um, so when staff had left for the day, they would use those offices. And there was just a few coaches, and they would work on uh, reviewing credit reports. And they quickly realized that credit is just one aspect of financial wellness and financial stability. And so after the 2009 tax season, they expanded the program to what it is today. And today we have over 20 active coaches, both in person and um, virtually, and they meet with clients one-on-one -on -one to work on budgeting, uh, credit, funding a bank, reducing debt, dealing with debt and collections, and many other financial topics. Um, our coaches all have very different personal and professional backgrounds. Some of them work during the day as financial advisors, and some work in a completely different field but are just really passionate um, about financial coaching. Um, the coaches go through over 10 hours of training with us, and um, we really um, emphasize uh, with the program and our coaches the, um, the, the fact that it's a client-driven process, and we have a strength-based approach. So the coaches are there to provide tools and resources and encouragement throughout the process, um, but it is self-directed behavior change, so ultimately the client does the work, sets the goals, um, makes those goals happen, and the coaches are there to inspire and empower and restore hope. Um, our coaches are very uh, respectful and empathetic and excited. They love doing this work and they're volunteering this um, to do this. And so, um, yeah, I could keep going, but we um, actually have videos coming up of two of our coaches, Miguel and Chris, talking about their experience with the financial coaching program, uh, why they are financial coaches, what their approach to financial coaching is, and a little bit of financial advice, and then maybe why you should be able to try it if you haven't done so already. I am Miguel Estupiñan, a volunteer for uh, Foundation Communities. Not only I am in financial coaching, but also a small business, sometimes the management, uh, the money management courses, and not this year, but I, I used to prepare taxes. Uh, hello, my name is Chris Cordova, and I am a um, training manager for a local financial institution. I just started uh, preparing taxes. Uh, and, and once I was preparing taxes, I interact with uh, many of the clients that needed financial coaching. Mm -hmm. And especially, obviously, the Hispanic uh, population, the, the ones that only speak Spanish. Okay, so in my 20s and 30s, I had, I found myself in a lot of credit card debt. 
and it became very overwhelming. Um, I was over my head, and I had to talk to my brother. He kind of advised me to follow up with a nonprofit here in town, here in Austin, that helped me consolidate my loans. Um, it took me about five years to pay off a lot of the credit cards. But there was a lot I realized I did not know about financial products. And at that point, I, I really wanted to help other people understand finances because it, it is so impactful in your overall life with getting a house, car, an apartment. There are three things that are the, the pillars of a uh, human well-being. One is health. And uh, because if you don't have health, you, you are in deep trouble. And, and we help here at Foundation Communities um, with insurance, which makes, makes people conscious about health. The second one is education. And, uh, and the third one is financial planning, financial life. Fortunately, in financial coaching, we can approach the last two, the education and the financial planning. And, and that's, you know, those are the pillars of a person's well-being. And uh, that doesn't mean that they are going to be happy, but at least they have the basis to be happy. What we do is really have people look at their habits identify what their habits are and how they can improve that or work within what their habits are. Um, also thinking about goals and goal setting, putting dates and finish goals on that, um, like a date to get that, you know, it's the difference between a goal and a dream is we're putting a date towards it, um, a date to work towards. But also I like having the questions of what does your life look like once you hit your goal, um, and also, is there a fear of you reaching that goal? Is that a goal you've had for a long time that you haven't been able to reach yet? And if you haven't been able to reach, just is there something holding you back? Or is there something you think is holding you back? That helps me understand the approach to take with that individual and how to try to let them understand how they can be successful and get there. And I, as we've discussed previously, I think that a lot of these things are about 80% financial, about 20% you can apply them to anything, but really you're- There is one, one, one thing that is common when you are doing a, uh, when, you, when you have done a decent job, you notice the difference in attitude. Sometimes clients come like almost falling apart. The, the eyes are completely opaque. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you start working with them. You start knowing their problems and trying to help, but not in, in your, not from your side, it's under his or her preferences his or her environment because you have to understand that this is that you don't help through your glasses you help them to be happy and and uh, then after a little while that they are changing that they are doing better things they come back and they start smiling and the eyes spark that is something that is, is, is the biggest prize that you can have as a coach, the bright in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Favorite financial advice to give people is if they have not created or started to think about a, an emergency account, to put, start thinking about that. Ultimately, as the pandemic has taught us, as the freeze of last year taught us, emergencies happen whether we plan, whether there are our own personal emergencies or the world makes these emergencies happen for us. Um, and it's really important to have just money put away because you don't know if you need for food, if you need for gas, gas is a little higher right now, but having some type of savings account, an emergency account that you can 
draw upon when you're not having to use a credit card or when you're not having to go to a payday loan, you're not having to you're not having to go to an outsourced outside resource in order to borrow money just to, to live. Um, you can just be self-dependent. So if you haven't started an emergency account, just start like with hundred dollars as your goal, work that up to five hundred, get that up to a thousand. Ultimately, you know, you want the three months, you want the six months, um, but you have to start somewhere. And that's kind of like my big push to individuals especially the younger individuals. In order to be happy is that, you know, it's, it's not, not only attitude, it's your actions. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare, you have to prevent, and you have to take action. I love financial coaching because it's really telling people, you have a goal, let's put a plan together, giving them the confidence to say, you can do this, pushing them in that direction and really getting them there. That's what I love about this program. And I always tell them it's free. You can make as many appointments as you want. We're here. The volunteers like doing it. Um, we get excited about it. That's why we're here. We like seeing people be successful. Um, and we're here to work with you. And we're patient. We, we know what it's like to have challenges in life. And we're there to push you. We're there to get you there. But yeah, so that's what, those are just some of the things I like about financial coaching and why I think it's a